Alrighty, uh, in this video I'm going to show you how to use the A-Seller tool listing tool um, that was just introduced in version 5.0 of AST um, software. So the first thing we're going to do is open up the A-Seller tool PC downloader which we have right here already opened. Um, once you get it open, go ahead and hit menu and you'll see the first drop down is a listing tool. So go ahead and click that. When you click that, this new window will open up. Um, the left side is something we do after we've done our listing uh, criteria and all that and here's what we need right now. Um, this is the description preset area um, and this is where we set from 1 to number 40 um, 40 different presets basically for every different um, type of media we'd like to scan for instance books, DVDs, VHS, software, whatever you'd like. Um, so basically for instance we could do number 1 um, will be we can edit it right here and it could be whatever we like. So we can have a like new book um, that ships priority and international and we can have it automatically say um, great seller buy from us for instance right and uh, so number one we'll have a like new book with priority shipping that we ship international and this is the message they'll get when they uh, when we list our books uh, under number one preset we got it saved under number two, you can see it's a good book. Uh, put your own options here. We'll, so we'll put one here as well. Um, we can write, um, I don't know, decent, not decent. We're, we're number one in customer service. Perfect. And go ahead and sit, save that. So number one and number two are done. We have a whole bunch of other presets here uh, that you can set. So once you set your presets on the computer, you go ahead and get your PDA. So here's my PDA right here. Um, once you get to the PDA, you go ahead and open up uh, a seller tool right here. Um, and then we'll go to the menu and you go to listing tool. Perfect. And uh, here's our listing tool menu on our PDA. Um, you'll see we'll have the description presets right here that we already set up on the computer. Now we haven't set it up on here but it's okay because the computer is where we need to uh, have all the presets to be set. Here you see the SKU prefix and the SKU suffix. So this is for uh, organization purposes. Um, you can have basically a way to organize all your media um, so it's easier to find out where everything is. So for instance we can have um, instead of shelf A you can have I don't know aisle um, seven row six for instance will be where all these um, titles are let me fix that I know okay row six okay so now we'll be good to scan so let me grab some stuff to scan real quick um, let's do a book there we go um, we'll do a DVD um, right there we will do a CD and let's do another CD for instance. Let me grab this one. Did that work yet? No. There we go. Okay. We do the same one twice. Doesn't matter. Okay. So now um, we go ahead and once we've scanned all the books under preset one, that all these are what we have set to as preset one, we hit save. Once we hit save, you see down here we have a uh, aisle seven. Um, we've done books um, one to well one to ten basically because we started at six. So this was six, seven, eight, nine, and we have ten, and we've scanned five books. Perfect. So now we have that, for instance, done. So number number one set of books is done. So now if you have a whole bunch of a pile of stuff that was under number two presets, which I believe was good item, um, shipping, and more reliable stuff like that. So if you have an, a, a pile of books at number two, you go ahead and push number two, begin your scan again, hit save, and you're good to go. So now once we've done this, you close this out. Perfect. Pull this to the side. Now go back to your listing tool. So here we see um, our PDA is connected. That's key here. This is the key part. We need to have a PDA that's connected to the PC through ActiveSync. Once we get there, um, you come to the, the left side that we... Uh, you know, skipped over in the very beginning of the tutorial. So right here it says, step one, connect PDA to PC and ActiveSync is running in connected state. Boom. We're good there. 
Step two, click the button below to get scanned inventory from PDA. So here we go, and we just click this button, and you can see down here, it's uh, mm -hmm. cannot list barcode. Okay, so basically what this is telling us is that for this first barcode, uh, Amazon does not return information, so it's not going to list it. So it's basically like a filter, uh, if you can see right there. Eric cannot list. Boom. Please check Amazon list manually. So this is a, it's a filter. It says, hey, you can't list this book. Fine. We don't want to list that one. And there you go. And it shows that the other books were available. So 7, 8, 9, and 10 were okay. We can list these. Perfect. Number 6, a no-go. So now you can see here there's two ways to upload um, your inventory. Number one is you can upload your inventory file yourself. Please upload this file that was just saved on your computer uh, to Amazon and that you don't need to worry about this. That all has to do with the Amazon website. And the second way is um, you go in and you type in your information here here, and you hit upload to Amazon um, and that will do it automatically. So basically that is a quick tutorial on how to use the new listing tool program um, for a seller tool. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to email us at a seller tool. No, I'm sorry, support at a seller tool.com.